today, 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 is National Linguini Day. And to celebrate, the executive chef at Cantoro Italian Market and Trattoria is here with us. We want to welcome Anthony Calabresi. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Did, I, did I get the right accent on your name? I was going to say, do you get fancy and walk around and go, Anthony Calabresi? I do that all the time. All yeah, the time. Yeah. <laughs> so, Linguini so, Day. Yes, let's talk about linguini because it's a type of pasta and everyone might, might not know exactly What's the difference between spaghetti and linguine? What is it exactly? Well, both, e both of them equal lengths. Just linguine is a little flatter. Uh, its origin is from Genoa and Liguria, which is a little south of Piemonte in Italy, about 4,000 years ago. Wow. So being from Genoa, that's why a lot of times often you'll see it with pesto alla Genovese. Ah. So. Now, here's the thing. I know that there is some science involved in this, and uh, the, the way that that sauce or a butter or meat or whatever yep. clings to the noodle. Uh, so Absolutely you, There's right. a reason why you would use linguine for a dish as opposed to lasagna or Correct. spaghetti or something. Correct. Very much so. Uh, linguine being the shape that it is, uh, is very well, goes very well with seafood dishes. So we have a pescatore here with uh, a dark squid ink. Uh, linguine, oh mixed seafood. We've got calamari clam scallops, mussels, uh, and a tomato sauce, or your linguine clam sauce. So the flat uh, portion of the noodle just holds on to that more brothy sauce better than, say, a spaghetti. <laughs> you are I ate ink. breakfast and I'm hungry right I'm now. I'm telling you, and the squid ink linguine just takes it up another notch. It has yes. such a rich flavor to it. So what are you doing right here? We've uh, taken a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, garlic, chili flake, Toasted the garlic, added our clams, sauteed the clams with a little white wine, added a little bit of fish fumé, which is just a flavorful fish broth. Alrighty. And uh, that's the basis for your linguine clam white. And you cook those till they open up? Till they open up. Then we add the, the pasta, continue to cook till the pasta absorbs your liquid, and that's the dish. Fabulous. So, Tati can attest that in the uh, Lavender D office, uh, the name Cantoro came up, and people there was like a hush <laughs> fell over the room. Like, for instance, director Lisa was like, oh, I love Cantoro. Oh, wonderful. I'm glad to hear it. So a few of these dishes we actually have on our menu. The uh, linguine uh, porcini over here. Wow. Right up front here, I think that um, uh, Lisa said that that was one of her favorites. In fact, maybe we could do some TV magic and bring her some. I think absolutely. you should. I think, I think so. you absolutely should. She would love that. I'm so glad. while Jason is doing that, let's you and I chat. Because right. then, you know, whenever I see these beautiful spreads, I get inspired to go home and try to make something myself. Sure. For the at-home cook, mm -hmm. what would you suggest they make with linguine? Keep it simple at home. Simple at home is these two dishes right here. You've got linguine arrabbiata, which is just a plain, spicy tomato sauce. Mm -hmm. You some, like something a little spice in it? It's good. It's flavorful. Hi, robust. Hi. Tomatoes are in oh season right now. Mm -hmm. That's the dish to go to. So whenever you see arrabbiata, that means it has the pepper. Be right back. Right? That's correct. Okay. Uh, and then? Or uh, linguine alle olio. Alle olio, oil and garlic. Touch of chili flake and fresh parsley. You That's can't go best. wrong with that one. Right. So you can't mess those up. You're no, going to get this no. right. Can't mess them up. All right. That is correct. How happy was Lisa, Jason? Very happy. Is this, is this wine? It is wine. All right. I'll oh, be right oh. back. <laughs> That'll go great. <laughs> this is a good one. So remind everyone where you're located. We are in uh, Plymouth <laughs> and Livonia. In Plymouth, we're uh, 1550 North Haggerty Road, mm -hmm. and uh, that's where we oh have God, this is the best day ever. part of the market. <laughs> Come in and try some of the dishes. Good. So describe what a trattoria is for everyone a who may not know. Trattoria really quickly. is a uh, just a casual restaurant, but it's good food. You okay. know, you're going to have really good pastas. We have great pizza. We have some good steaks and chops. Okay. Just a good place to enjoy some wine, some cheese, some pasta. Do a little shopping. Absolutely. There we go. Yep. Thanks so much for hanging out with us Thank on you. National Linguini Day. Thank we you will very be much. tasting these and giving you guys a full report because that would only be right, right, Jason? That's right. Yeah. Say it all together. Calabrese. Calabrese. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs>